Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Vinyl Den, your channel for record collecting by record collectors. I'm Nick. I know this is The Vinyl Den, and we typically talk about vinyl records on the show here, but to be completely honest, I'm a huge fan of music regardless of what uh, format it's on. Today I'm going to be talking about a bunch of great CDs that I picked up for a great price over the last couple of weeks. There's a bunch of links down below. Make sure you go check them out. There's links for the Vinyl Den Facebook group, for the merch page, for the Spotify and Apple Music weekly playlist we put together, and also the Patreon page. Make sure you go check all that out. Of course, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me the old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I release new episodes. So I'm sure I'm like a lot of you guys out there over the last couple of years, you know, because of the skyrocketing prices of vinyl records, I've slowly kind of been rebuilding my CD collection. I'm buying more and more of them. We've talked around the channel, you know, quite a few times over the last couple of years that right now is really a great time to be buying CDs because you can still get, you know, great deals on them. You can still get, find a lot of used CDs for literally a dollar or two a piece. And uh, I picked up a lot of great CDs over the last uh, month or so. And uh, I spent little, very little on it compared to what I typically buy or, or what I typically pay for, for records. And it's not like I'm leaving records behind. I still buy records pretty regularly. Uh, almost weekly, I'm, I'm still buying records. But like I said, I'm finding great deals on CDs. And I'll, I got uh, I picked up probably, I think, 22 CDs over the last month. And I paid less than 100 bucks for all these CDs. It's actually funny. I went to the record store uh, within the last couple of weeks with my wife. And she bought two records. And I think I bought five CDs. And I spent like a fraction of, of what she did for those two records. One of my favorite places to go, at least for you CDs, is a place down in Toledo, Ohio called Allied Record Exchange. If you're ever in the area, make sure you go through and check them out. But uh, they've got like the whole back of the store, well, at least half of the back of the store, is all a huge section of just $1 CDs. And a lot of times I'll go in there and won't really find a whole lot, but sometimes I go in there and just find a bunch of gold. I was in there uh, probably a few weeks ago. I picked up 12 CDs from them. I paid less than 23 bucks for all of them. And I think a seven or eight of them, I think I'll pay a dollar for I will say that when it comes to CDs, a lot of times I listen to greatest hits compilations, especially, like I said, I listen to a lot of times in my car, you know, so instead of going through and listening to a couple of songs off a CD and then changing it, it's great just to put in a greatest hits compilation and kind of, you know, enjoy all the, all the hits from that artist. So I will say a lot of the ones, at least the, the ones I bought from the, the dollar bins are all uh, greatest hits compilations. Got uh, Bruce Springsteen, of course, can't go, go wrong with the boss. I did get both of the uh, U2 greatest hits albums. A dollar each, you know, just, uh, I love you too. I love a lot of the stuff that they've done, but, uh, you know, when it comes to CDs, I can just like toss on a greatest hits. I also got uh, matchbox 20. I've got this actually on vinyl. I don't listen to it a whole lot. You know, there are a couple of tracks on here. I really do like, so for a buck, it's something easy. I can, I can kind of just toss on. I dig it. Both of the, uh, Elton John greatest hits compilations. Like I said, for a buck, you really can't pass those up. One that I picked up for my wife is, uh, some TLC. And then I also got uh, Goo Goo Dolls, which I've been getting more into their stuff over the last, like, I don't know, six or eight months. Uh, you know, I was never a huge fan of their stuff in the 90s, but, uh, you know, like I said, I've been kind of going back and finally checking out their, some of their albums. And uh, I was, uh, you know, a fan of, of, like, a couple of other big hits, but, uh, you know, it, they've got a lot more on their albums than just those big, big tracks. So like I said, all those I got for a dollar. Those are the kind of stuff you're going to get off their $1 CD wall. You know, nothing mind-blowing. It's just a lot of stuff that, uh, you know, I kind of fill out my CD collection with. Stuff I know I'll listen to. And the other ones I picked up from Allied, I think I paid, the most I paid for any of these albums are, are like three or four bucks. But uh, Alice Cooper, Billion Dollar Babies, one of my favorite albums of the 70s. Definitely my favorite to Alice Cooper album. Of course, I'm also a huge MXPX fan, so they had uh, Let, Let's Rock and Poking At You, which Poking At You is their debut album. Not a huge fan of it, but, uh, you know, I think I paid $2 for it. I'll definitely uh, listen to it enough. And then uh, Do or Die by the, the, the Dropkick Murphys, one of my favorite 90s albums, one that uh, I listen to this thing all the time. And when I went to the record store with my wife a couple of weeks ago, I did pick up a couple of CDs. These were all a little bit more money than what I paid for at uh, Ally, but I still want to say I, the most I paid was like six or seven bucks for any of these. I did get the Essential Bruce Springsteen. This is another Greatest Hits compilation, but the cool thing is about this. It comes with uh, the third a third disc of B-sides, some unreleased stuff, some live stuff, uh, some stuff he did off of soundtrack. So it's a great one. Uh, you know, I, you know, had I known that I was going to grab this, I probably wouldn't have picked up the, uh, the other greatest hits album of his, but cause it's got a lot of the same, I think it's got all the same tracks on it, but you know, it's cool to have that, that third disc also got uh, poisons, greatest hits, another greatest hit, another great greatest hits compilation. 
I grabbed a copy of Stain's Greatest Hits. I'm not a, fa- a big fan of Stain. I only like a couple other tracks, but I picked this up on CD, I think for like two or three bucks, about a year or two back, and realized that it was an edited version. I know this is, okay, this came out in like 2006, 2007, uh, so I didn't really even realize that they were still editing music back then. But So I grabbed this one just to have a uh, unedited copy of that. Of course, it's got to have some Rolling Stones in there also. And then another great uh, 90s album had some uh, Alanis Morissette. I think they had this one for, I got this for 20% off, so I want to say I paid like 4 bucks for it. And I think the most expensive used CD I bought all month long was this uh, limited edition copy of Live and Loud by Ozzy Osbourne. This is the original version when it was released back in 1983. It's got like a metal uh, cover on the front of it. And this has the original booklet in here. It's got the uh, temporary tattoos that came along with the CD when it was first released. But I love this this live album, one of my favorite live albums of all time. I, I had to pick this one up off of Discog because it's something you just don't see in stores very often. So like I said, I picked up a bunch of great UCDs over the last month. I did pick up some new stuff also. I picked up a new copy of The Mark, Tom, and Travis Show by Blink-182. I'm a huge Blink fan. Can't wait to see them live here in a couple of months, but uh, one of my favorite live albums of all time. I also got Other Worlds by The Pretty Reckless. If you haven't checked out Pretty Reckless yet, make sure you uh, check them out. I think they're doing some of the best rock out there of the last several years. And this is a great, uh, a great album that just came out end of last year. And then uh, another album that came out late last year, Patient Number 9 by Ozzy Osbourne. Definitely a, a one to, to check out. It's one that I kind of got more into, you know, over the last several months. The more I listen to it, the, the more I like it. And then the, the last CD I've got, I'm a huge Mod Sun fan, had been for the last couple of years. His new album came out early this year, and then uh, he just released it on CD. This is God Save the Teen. The bad thing about this is I had just been at the record store a couple of days earlier and was going to buy some new uh, jewel cases when I was there, and Decided to kind of hold off until the next time I, I was out there. And then I got this in the mail. And I don't know if you can see it, but the whole corner of this thing is is nice and cracked and busted. So I definitely needed to get a, a new case and put it in there. I will say that that's the nice thing about, uh, at least with like new and used CDs over new and used vinyl. You know, if you get a, a, a damaged CD in the, in the mail, it's a lot easier to fix it than uh, a damaged record, at least a record jacket. So over the last couple of months, I've been trying to find a really nice case to put my CDs in, at least when I'm uh, traveling in my car. You know, I've got one of those booklets where you open up, you can slide all the C- individual CDs in. I know those are bad for the CDs. It can scratch the CDs. The plastic can be bad for the CDs also. So I was trying to find a case to put, actually, the, the jewel cases in also. So uh, it kind of makes everything a little more secure, a little safer for the CDs. So I found this great case by uh, Case Logic. I actually had one of these back in the uh, in the late 90s early 2000s i had a big one you can put like 60 cds in but this thing's pretty cool i got it for like 20 bucks off of ebay you can probably find these for a lot cheaper if you go to like goodwill stores and things like that but this is a great way to i think to to kind of protect everything in my car and it opens up and as you can see you can put all the all the jewel cases in there and it uh, like i said the bigger one the bigger like 60 count one is the one i had back in the day but uh you know for the most part i'm good just having like 30 cds in my car well, that's all I got for you today, guys. Thanks for checking the show out. I guess I can't call this the vinyl den today. I guess this is the CD den because I talk about all my new CDs. But, uh, you know, like I said, with the rising costs we've seen of vinyl, I know a lot of people out there are doing the same thing I'm doing, which is, you know, kind of diversifying my music. You know, I can pick up a record for, you know, 40, 45 bucks, or I can pick it up on CD for like six. I mean, it's in these kind of, uh, you know, when you deal with inflation, everything else that's gone, kind of going on now, uh, you know, sometimes you've got to make a choice between the two. And sometimes it's just a better choice for me to, to pick it up on CD. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are out there like that also, but uh, drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, are you guys finding CDs out there for cheap? Cause I think it's a great time to be a CD collector, to buying CDs, to, you know, enjoy music in a better way than what you're getting off of a, a lot of streaming services out there. But let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me the old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. And that's all I got. Until next time, keep on spinning. Peace.